What's up everybody? I'm uh, sitting here in one of my favorite spots. I drove out here really quick. Uh, wanted to share some thoughts with you as this is uh, the week of Christmas or the week leading up to Christmas. Um, I was talking with my kids this morning. My wife and I, we were talking about uh, these different moments in our life and in our family where God encountered us and why we believe what we believe. And um, it was really cool as we were talking, I started to see kind of this unfolding of kingdom growing in our family and some different things. And I thought about how easy it is to miss. And, uh, you know, for Christmas season, I think for a lot of people, oftentimes, uh, it's not as exciting as we say, you know, I think sometimes you get with your family and there's a lot of brokenness or uh, Loss, I know a lot of people have uh, suffered a lot of loss this year uh, Loss of loved ones, you know, so you get together and sometimes Somebody's not there who should be or your family doesn't get along or you're disappointed because you're you disagree politically and um, Just a lot of upheaval a lot of depression a lot of sadness can happen and um, it's easy to to not be excited for the season um, despite how we try to make it exciting and um, anyway we were just thinking about that and I was reminded um, about a year ago I found this um, leaf in my yard actually several leaves and there was a an invasive beetle a Japanese beetle an invasive species had come into the yard and it had eaten away all the greenery on these leaves and left the um, just the roots or the I'm sorry left the veins uh, to be seen and so I found one of those leaves and I held it up to the sunlight and I thought it was beautiful um, but uh, it had been devoured by an invasive species you know an invasive species is something that is uh, comes in to a spot where it's not supposed to be and wreaks havoc and destruction I mean I think that oftentimes things in our lives choices disappointments uh, lies, things we believe, just cause us to open up the door for an invasive species to come in, especially in family, um, and it uh, can be evident around Christmas time. Anyway, I, I did a painting. I'm going to flip my phone here and try to show this to you. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Hang on one sec here. I did this painting of the leaf. So I took the leaf and I coated it. I put gold in it, some bronze left the veins, tried to show where the beetle, there's the beetle. I wanted to show essentially what happens when that invasive species comes in. And I think in a lot of ways our lives are this way. You know, um, that invasive species comes in, we're not able to stop it, we don't understand, and it reaches destruction. It eats away the greenery, it eats away the stuff that we deem beautiful, the stuff that we uh, hold on to, the stuff that makes our lives attractive to others, makes our families beautiful. Um, and it's so easy to get discouraged um, and yet in the midst of that what I realized is this beetle was actually revealing the veins of this leaf um, it's evident where the life source is how how nutrients and water and what that what the plant needs to grow how it flows through those veins and creates something beautiful so I just want to encourage you as video is kind of rough because I'm just doing it on the spot but I just want to encourage you that if your family has been ravished in some form by an invasive species, to look to look past the brokenness, to look past the areas where it's not green, where it's not flourishing, and to find those veins, those veins of promise, those veins of life, of love, of goodness that God has put in you, that God has put in your family, um, it often takes the barrenness of something of a hard year a hard circumstance to cause us to find the beauty in family and in places that really matter um, and so I just want to encourage you this season as you're getting ready to get together with family or stay at home or zoom whatever it is that you're doing that you would look for the beauty look for those veins of life and uh, treasure them and share them and talk to them because it's easy to miss you know when Jesus was a promise he came we celebrate that promise as, as Christ followers, we celebrate that promise. Um, but there were a lot of people that missed it. We know the shepherds saw it, we know the wise men saw it, but all those people around, they, they didn't see it, they didn't know. And then even two years later, 
when Herod issues a decree and murders every baby boy under two years of age, I'm not sure that those families knew what was happening, that they saw the promise that had come, but rather they saw pain and loss and suffering. And so just remember that when Jesus came, he came to reveal kingdom, to reveal beauty, to show us who we really are. And as we turn back to him, as we seek him, as we search for the beauty, we'll find it. And we'll be able to see the line of restoration, the line of God's kingdom come and God's will be done in our hearts and in our minds. So anyway, I just wanted to give that to you today and I just wanted to bless you with uh, this painting. So.